better shoes on. Shake. Today is plastic vapor barrier day. So what I gotta do, hey, lay down, lay down. Lloyd well, doesn't like talking about vapor barriers, I guess, but what I have to do today is get the vapor barrier put around the top. And then I have this, this kind of a metal, it's a, an aluminum beam that runs the full length of the trailer. So I'm gonna come down to that and then I'm going to put the vapor vapor barrier on the bottom too. So what I what I decided is that I still want plastic on the inside of this wall just to keep any condensation off of the wall boards. I don't want any, you know, condensation coming through and, and staining the the uh, wall boards that we put on the shiplap. So we're gonna do plastic around the whole thing. Um, I am doing a little bit of spray foaming in some cracks, like for instance right here. I need to spray foam in this crack. Similar to what I did over here. And then there are some areas down below, down by the floor like this. So around the floorboards, I need to do some more of that, not a lot. And then some of those spots that I missed. So I do have a can or two. Looks like I have two cans of seal. And I might have some more over in the trailer. But here we go. We're going to get flying with the vapor barrier. Oh. You need better shoes on. The ultimate off-grid shoe wear. Can't go wrong. Moving my way around, I had to do some more um, tie downs, those strapping from the wall down to the trailer. So I finished those up all the way around. I'm doing every other stud on those. And I got the, the plastic all the way around here, about a third of the way down. I'll finish that up and then I'm going to take a break. Hopefully I can get at least some of the bottom done too. I wanna to start putting wall boards on down here in the living space and in the kitchen, maybe next weekend, because I wanna get the kitchen put back into place so we can start using it again and get it out of, the, it's under tarps right now. So that's the plan. I'll see how far I can get on this plastic today. Cross your fingers.
almost done. Okay, had to screw around with some nailers and some of the spray foam. You find gaps as you're going along, you know. But this is all done. There's a major highway of bugs coming in under here. There's kind of a, a bent area. It's just a slight dent in that the roof of the old trailer and the foam that I had between the uh, the plate and that one section of the, the trailer, the top of the trailer, there's a little gap and I could see beetles and flies coming right in there. So hopefully that's, that's their main uh, entrance point. I'm sure there's others, but this plastic is helping. And that spray foam is really helping seal that stuff up. So the upper's done. I'm going to try to put on a couple pieces of the lower section here just to get started. And, but I'm not going to get done with it today. I have to leave in a few hours here, so I'll give you a shot on some of that stuff. But it was a good, good progress. That's, you know, that's kind of putsy work and I had to cut around all the windows. I still got to do these two. So progress. It's looking good. Next week, wall boards. Maybe. Maybe wall boards. I had to talk about the solar setup too. Um, I spent some time clearing this place out and I am putting plastic. So this is the kitchen space. I'm putting plastic all the way around. I'm probably going to do that wall and for sure this wall. I cleared out the, this is the TV wall. So I'm doing that. I don't know. All these, I might stick some pieces in here just so I can start getting the cabinets in. I don't know. I think I'm going to just piece this in. We'll see. Running out of plastic. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. You sit, you shake, 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 all right.